Hey what's up guys, Drone Buddy here back with another exciting Photoshop tutorial and into this tutorial we are going to create bouquet and I know everyone loves bouquet photography but we are going to create some fake bouquet in Photoshop so first of all we are going to take this image and create a bouquet wallpaper which you can use anywhere and after that we will create a bouquet background to use for your live action photography as a background or it's really cool so let's start it okay so I have my image already opened in Photoshop and if you want you can go to file and open any image you want uh, first we are going to create a bouquet wallpaper that looks something like this which is really beautiful you can use any image for that and after that we will create this realistic one which is also really beautiful uh, if you want this image to follow the tutorial the link is in the description uh, to create that bouquet wallpaper uh, duplicate your image by pressing ctrl J and right click on your layer and select convert to smart object so we can apply any filter without any kind of real destruction uh, select Gaussian blur and this is my previous amount apply a lot of that you have only some colors left nothing detail so hit ok ok so after that select your brush tool and uh, select any of the round brush you want and after that ok cancel ok uh, after that select this option you can see here you can also press F5 for that select that and in the brush tip shape make the hardness 100% and increase the spacing until it looks something like this and after that go to scattering and scatter it a bit uh, that's looking good and count should be 1 no 2 is good and in the transfer mode apply opacity jitter to 100% and flow jitter make it 0 good now create another new layer blank layer by clicking this icon here on your original layer and start painting don't worry about it right now go to filter blur and add some Gaussian blur uh, by some I mean a lot until it looks something like this the amount of blur depends on your image size of your resolution so that may be vary but it should look something like this create another new layer paint again go to filter blur and Gaussian blur also some blur right now again here good and put this layer on maybe overlay mode that looks pretty cool uh, now create another blank layer and this is the final layer and paint some bouquet you want as you can see here this is looking really beautiful right now and uh, as I'm teaching you right now I'm not trying multiple times but if you want some really beautiful you will have to undo it again and again and start painting again so keep patience and keep trying uh, after that create another new layer and in the, as you can see here I have a gradient tool selected right now and in the gradient uh, I have this four color gradient hit ok and I'm using linear gradient and just paint it over here or just anyhow you like it you can use any color in the gradient you want and put this on a soft light mode as I said you can use any color you want and this has started to look really beautiful you can also apply some blur to our final bokeh layer so I will go to blur Gaussian blur and I will apply my one pixel blur and that is looking really good maybe turn down opacity a bit that is cool and paint some more maybe yes that's looking really beautiful maybe quite a lot okay uh, after that's done uh, uh, as you can remember we have a original layer here so press ctrl J I know the layers are really getting confused but you have to concentrate right now only on the this layers sorry for the all the confusions so this is our original layer and I have duplicated it and I will put it on the top of gradient layer I will go to filter blur and motion blur and hit ok 
put it on a screen mode and this is not looking really good right now but just turn it down a bit and as you can see here we have a really beautiful bokeh wallpaper ready if you have any confusion just go back and watch it again i know it's a little tricky or maybe process is a little long but the wallpaper looks really good and after i put some text over here as you can see just to make it some wallpaper thingy oops wrong layer as you can see here you can just put it here and use it as your desktop background or anything so this is done let me group it uh, press ctrl g to group anything and turn it off okay now we are going to create something like this more realistic and you can use it as your background for some live action images uh, okay to create that one just duplicate your layer again and as usual right click uh, convert to smart object after that go to filter blur and fill blur oh i'm sorry i forgot that if you have uh, smart object selected you cannot use those blurs so unfortunately we will have to rasterize that so now go to filter blur and fill blur I think Photoshop should do something for this blurs to make I mean to make them usable in smart object condition but whatever this is my previous amount 15 pixels already and then you can see here we have bouquet option already all you have to do is just increase that until you find good enough bouquet for that add some colors in that so it is just basically saturating your image a bit and then you can see here we have light range that controls the brightness of the bouquet in this image so if you increase the dark part obviously this won't look really bright and that is good in the end all you have to concentrate on how beautiful the image is looking right now so this is looking quite beautiful uh, here we have some really strong bouquet but I think we can help that a bit okay this is looking really good and hit ok so, so as you can see it uh, we had this image and just in few seconds you can create something like this which is really beautiful and I can uh, we can also use as a background as I promised uh, let me show you uh, I downloaded this image from deventart.com and I have a link in the description for this also as you can see here this is the original image uh, I just basically masked it uh, this is the original image you can see so I masked it you know using brush tool and then added some color correction you can see here and some text I think I should crop it a bit so we can have really good perspective for this enter it this is looking terrible right now I know uh, all we have to do is just select our original image the bouquet one we created right now press ctrl T and make it really big that it matches the background of the girl I mean even large okay this is good hit enter and put it something like this and let me go to full screen mode see how beautiful this looks let me show you the original image again this image and here we have a really homemade I mean actually Photoshop made bouquet so first of all we created some bouquet wallpaper as you can see here uh, which is looking terrible because of cropping let me crop that back hit enter so this is our original bouquet wallpaper which you can use anywhere and also a realistic bouquet image um, which also looks beautiful and this is our final product see how beautiful is that so if you enjoyed my tutorial you learned something you can subscribe to my channel new tutorials are coming soon uh, also these are my previous tutorials if you want to watch you can watch i think you should watch them they're pretty cool not really exciting 
all that but i have some really good information in this tutorial also so if you want to watch you can watch thanks for watching keep supporting take care goodbye